Hey guys, how you doing? I just wanted to encourage you. Jesus told me to make a video. I wanted to let you know that I got a really cool revelation today. So I was on the beach and um, the Lord came over me, <clears throat> gave me a message. And it was really cool because he had said the word, um, I am tired. I know you're tired. And he said, I'm weary. And I didn't think anything of it. <clears throat> and then a little later, it popped into my head again and I was like, wait a minute. I had a prophecy that Jesus gave me where he said, I am tired and I am weary. See, every time Jesus speaks, he always means something. So this is really cool. So I went and searched in my notes and stuff and I found a message that had the I am tired and I am weary message. And it is literally like, proving what is going on right now with the group and everything it's just like mind-blowing and so it's January 2nd and there's three messages in in that video um <clears throat> so there's probably multiple videos for January 2nd but I just thought that was so cool and it's literally showing what is happening right now and what is really cool is I feel like the Lord showed me um okay the very, very first message he ever gave me was December 30th when he poured out his spirit on me. And what was really cool was it was like Jesus comes with the, in a white horse and, and with his sword and trumpet sound and everything. It was like literally the end. And you know how Jesus is like, he's the end and the beginning, the beginning and the end. So my revelation was, and I was talking to um, the ones that are still in our group, the ones that... Um, <clears throat> anyway, but I was talking to them and they were also feeling that in their spirit. And they were like, you know, I had this revelation months ago um, about this, that Jesus, when you get closer to the very first messages, is when he comes. It's like literally ending, but beginning, if that makes sense. Because he's the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. And so what's really cool is um, January 2nd, I, there's like January 1st message, I believe, and then December 30th. So when Jesus told me the other day that we're at the grand finale, it really matches with the prophecies right now. So I thought that was so cool. Um, but anyway, I claim that Jesus Christ is the son of God. He's God. Um, he come in the flesh. Someone said, I don't say, I, I always say he came in the flesh and blood on the cross, but I say he come in the flesh, um, blood on the cross, died for us, rose on the third day, born of a virgin. Um, anyway, <clears throat> I claim all those things. The spirit of Antichrist doesn't claim that. Um, and ignore the people on YouTube because they're trying to impersonate me and scam me. And, um, you know, YouTube doesn't always keep my comments. Um, but I'm kind of staying away from social media right now, so if I don't read your comment or anything, I'm not ignoring you. The Lord just told me to stay away from social media. But he did, you know, put it on my heart to post a video, so I'm going to do that. But I'm going to try not to read any comments and everything, because I'm in a pretty good mood today, and, you know, my spirits are lifted up. Jesus is awesome. And um, I have a feeling that I will see my doggie soon, my family in heaven and um i'm really excited to be with jesus he's amazing if you don't know him you are saved by your faith through him through his grace he saves you because he died on the cross for us so he took away your sins on the cross so you just have to believe in him with all your heart confess he's lord and have childlike faith and make sure you're not under the law because a lot of people are still walking under the law and they're relying on man's laws and they're not relying on jesus and they're not walking in the spirit. He's revealing a lot of truths to me right now. Things unsealed in Daniel 12. Things that unless you're truly in the spirit, you won't understand. So, always seek Jesus on everything. Ask him for discernment. Love your neighbor. It's all about loving the Lord God and your neighbor. Don't condemn people. Love them. And if Jesus wants to correct them, he will. You can correct them in love, but we don't condemn our neighbors. So anyway, I love you all very much, and I hope to see you in the clouds soon.
God bless.